Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at another one tutorials of Mastercam Milton tutorials and toolpath playlist. This is over part one, exercise one and part fifth in the previous of few videos where we learn about in the first video we learn about the simulations of that one part how we can do the simul how we can create a simulations where we create the, all the toolpath and so how it's work on the machine in the second one video we would like we show you that how we can set up all the things like as how we can set up the job setups and all these things and after that the next one video i show you that how you can create turning tools or i can say that turning tool path on a particular part and after that in the fourth video i show you how you can create a milling tool path on this one object with the help of a milton module and in this video i would like to show you how we can create the part transform from one area or we can say that from the left spindle to the right spindle so what is the process for that that how we can transfer the part from the left spindle to the right spindle what is the entire process what are the steps that we have to follow so all these things we will learn step by step okay so let me start to work on it that how the, what is the process and how we can do all these things so once we st start all these things we just have to make the tool path minimize the tool path and after that we have to start to work on this the first step is we have to create a tool when we are creating the part transform for the part transforming the tool path which we are using that is in a turning and the tool path is called poco pick off cut off in this tool path what is basically happening the tool path is getting to be my second spindle is a came at this position it will clamp my workpiece it will pull out this one and after that my uh, parting tool came from the upper side it will parting my component from the stock area and after that the second spindle or we can say right hand spindle will take it at this one position so that is the entire process when we are doing poco or we can call pick off cut off operations when we are doing pick off cut off operations we always have to make sure the two important thing when we do the job setups we always make sure we have to define the tool here when we are doing poco operation that is the cut off tool that should be perfect and second thing is when we do that one operation so we have to always make sure that we have to define a, that one position of the right spindle properly that from which one position my tool or we can say that my right hand spindle have to be pick my part so that's the basic concept that we have to follow properly now we have to start to create a poco operation for that one we have to click on a turning and that is operation is called as poco pick off cut off we just have to click on pick off cut off and we have self say okay once we just say okay so as you can see there the complete process and complete tool path is happening and now my part is getting come from this one position to this one and here is the stock that in that one area the stock is getting completely finished but in this area or this one position my stock is still available so that's the basic process that how we can create the poco operations once my poco operations is getting completed after that i have to check something that how i can synchronize on this operation properly and in a proper setup i would like to show you one more time that how, how the poco operation is getting to be performed for that one i have to click on this one have a look then my second spindle is came on this one position it connecting here hold this a hold my workpiece uh, first or we can say left spindle open my workpiece is getting out from the left spindle and now in the next step what is happening my work is getting out and after that my parting tool came from upper side and it's cutting my part and now right hand spindle take its initial position or i can say original position so that's the total pick up or we can say poco operations now what the thing that are important to be noticed when we are performing a poco operations once we done the operations right at here now after that we have to check this operation properly in a 3d simulation for that one we have to click on g1 and let we have to check
once I click on the, this one so what is happening my Vastacam new window is getting opening and now at this position we are now on a perfect or a right position as we learned in the few of the previous video we have to expand all these things and now we have to check the synchronization what is the synchronization with the work pieces now as you can see here this is my last synchronization and according to this synchronization once my grooving operation is getting done after that my milling operation are getting to be started all the milling operations should be worked from the upper turret so all these milling operations are done till the here after that this milling operation is getting to be completed so what we have to do we have to make sure that once this operation is getting to be completed we have to make our turret turret at the park position so after ending of this operation i make my turret at the park position once that turret is getting to be park position i can say that can be start to working on that one synchronous uh, left spindle start to be working on all these things now here is that all these things will be getting to be started once all these things are successfully completed after that again we have to make our turret at the park position so that's the basic thing that we are doing right at here make sure you have to make synchronization in a perfect format as you can see here I would like to show you start from the starting that first operation was facing second rough then finish once my first is face once face my getting completed it will start to going on a rough once rough is getting completed it's going to finish once my finish is getting completed it's going on a groove once my grooving go, groove is getting completed it's going on mill to the dynamic mill it means now my all main, uh, main stream upper stream operations would be getting continuously no lower turret is going to be used at this one position and now at this from this one position once my all milling operation are getting completed after that I have to make my turret on a left parking position and that park position is left area once that is going to be parking position on left area after that I have to start part uh, synchro synchronization and pick up operations so all these things are pick, my completely pick up operation once my pick up operation is getting to completed again I have to make my turret on park position and this position park position should be lower reference position now I have to click on a save and just have to launch this tool but now have a look what is happening what are the major issues and minor issues we are facing at, at this point and according to that we will modify our tool path and let's fix the issues so once I click on a tool this one so now what will happening my machine is getting to be open right at here and now have a look this is my workpiece this is my tool and all these things and now I start to work on this I just play this one tool path and now have a look I just increase the speed the face rough finish grow now start to cut the milling tool paths first second third and now all these things this is my four tool path is done now after that my poco or pick up cut off operation is getting to be start to work right at here now have a look the tool turret that is lower turret is getting to be park in a park position at the left area and once it is getting to be on a left area after that my upper turret going and changing the tool okay once it go and take my tool after that my parting operation can be start to work now have a look in this condition in a single tool holder there are two tools are available so maybe possible that tool can be collide or make big accident but we will solve that error also now as you can see here my right hand spindle is came to this direction it's hold the workpiece pull out the stock outside parting this properly but due to the parking 
during the party that accident is getting to be happening so we have to solve this accident so we will have to solve this one also and once it done after that my right spindle take my workpiece at the initial position and now it is going it normal and my turret is again came to the reference position now have a look all these things are getting successfully completed all set perfect there is no issue but now have a look there is one issue or one challenge that is getting accident right at here how we can solve this one so for make the solution of that one issue we have to came again on this one position and we have to click on that one and after that we have to click on tool and this is my right hand spindle and this is my cutoff tool we have to click set projection length and what we have to do we have to mix this tool a little bit outside so during the parting time that tool can be cutting my part properly without collides of the another one tool so I just pull out this one a little bit just say ok ok all these things are properly set again we have to click on G1 just click on a launch and again play now have a look that is holding out parting and there is zero collision at the moment and now all these things are successfully set now have a look this is my part fifth where we learn about that how we can perform a poco or we can say a part transfer from the left spindle to the right spindle and after the next in the next video we will learn about that how we can create tool path for the right hand spindle what are the steps and what the major issues or challenges we will face during this operation so thank you so much for watching this video if you need these parts so you can join and subscribe over youtube channel so we can share all the details so thank you so much keep learning keep growing